What is going on the gaming rehab here and in this video I am showing you how to install and make and craft and everything with a bucket server on Minecraft 1.7.9 and by the way if this video does say 1.8 in the title or anything above that it doesn't matter it's gonna work anyways because I'll make sure that everything is updated and you can just trust me on that. Okay, so now go into the, one of the links in the description. This is the craft, dl.craftbucket.org slash download slash craftbucket. What you're going to do is just download the the best or the most recent or the development or the um, recommended build of 1.7.9 and just press the green thing and it'll download it automatically. There's no surveys, uh, no anything at all. So now what you want to do is just drag that onto your desktop. Then you want to make a folder on your desktop called Bucket Server. B U K K I T S C R V E R. Okay, and now uh, go into that and, uh, sorry, uh, drag Craft Bucket into Bucket Server. And now you want to rename Craft Bucket to Craft Bucket dot jar. And now go into open up your te text edit, and if you have another word processor, I guess that's fine, but uh, you, you need to be very, uh, you need to follow my orders. So. I guess I can't paste that. Is that not all right? Yes. Yeah, so now what you want to do is copy and paste this thing. Uh, it is in the description of the video, so you do not have to worry that you have to copy every little thing. But well, I'll just explain this very briefly. If your computer has four gigs of RAM, you need to be able. Uh, you need to make sure that the computer is able to run properly and the server is able to run properly. So I would not recommend putting any lower than 1024, which is 1 gigabyte of RAM. But if your computer has 4 gigs of RAM, say, going to 2 gigs is a little bit risky depending on how many other programs you have open at the moment. Uh, so I would just recommend leaving it at 1024, which is 1 gig. But say you have 8 gigs and you want to put 4 gigs of RAM, type take 1024 and times it by 4. It's that simple. Very simple math. It does not really, it's not hard at all. So what you want to do is now save that and uh, under for file format put, put plain text and then name it start dot command. Just the same as you see right there and press save. And you just see it saved right there and now just drag that onto your into bucket server. Now you can double click on start.command and it will open up and it will have so many, uh, eventually it will create, it will just automatically generate all the other server properties, plugins, everything you need to do. So if you, I'll just explain this very briefly as well. Uh, server properties, that's just the properties of the server so you can change everything you want in there. Plugins are basically mods, uh, but most of you know what these are and you can fiddle with all of these on your own time if you'd like. But I'll just go into server properties because that's the most important thing. Okay, now PvP, true, uh, of course that means player versus player, uh, yes you can kill each other. Difficulty 1, 2, 3, or 4, I'm going to put 2 in case I do use the server. Um, spawn NPC, server IP. Under server IP, you want to keep that as nothing, nil. Don't put anything in there. And make sure the port is set at 525565 five, unless you know what you're doing, but anyways I would recommend keeping it 25565 five, because then uh, people don't have to type out everything. Uh, Every player doesn't have to type out, put, put a colon and then type it out. Now just stop your server. And then what you want to do now is, is we need to port forward. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically allowing people to join your network. Um, that sounds bad, but just al people uh, allowing people to join your Minecraft server in a way. Okay, so now press advanced, uh, sorry, press on uh, wi the Wi-Fi thing, open network preferences, and type and go to tcp slash ip and then take your router so one mine is 192.168.1.254 and then you want to open a new tab and just paste that in the thing and just, yeah paste that and as you see I am already logged in but if you uh, this is the very very tricky part if you have TELUS if you happen to have the same router as me then follow my steps and it'll be alright but if you have anything else, then uh, I would recommend finding your router name, say, tell us, then f go to your router, look what it says, and search it up. It is not very difficult to do that, but I can't help you with any other routers but mine. So I'll just log out to show you uh, what your login. If you if you don't, if you have never done this, your login information is admin and tell us. Uh, but uh, user, your username is always admin, unless you change it, but I'm not sure how. And then just type uh, tell us. But I have a different password, so 
yeah. Now go to firewall. And now go to port forwarding. Then you want to find your IP address. So this one is Kathy's iMac. Then 192.168.1.65. But you can find that by going up there. Open network preferences. And um, uh, right here. So this one actually says hit 192.168.1.86. So uh, I would recommend just man manually entering it and type .86. Now what you want to do is type 25565. 25565. And 25565 and 25565 again for these. Then go ahead and click apply. Sorry if that was loud. So it says, oh, uh, sorry, there's a dot on the end. Oh, and then it says remote port is in use. But uh, that doesn't apply with you, so that's it will work for you. So, guys, we have finished this segment of the video. Now, the final thing before I just end, up, end this video is how people can join your server. Now what you want to do is go to whatismyip.com and as you see, you, have, you see mine, uh, it's, mine is 207.216.8. Um, I'm not sure if I should actually share this, I might cover that up because I think that's what you can hack me with. But anyways, uh, you want to copy that or then, uh, then you can send that to all your friends and everything because that is actually what your friends join your server with. Uh, under server IP, they put that and they join it. Now, in, a, in, a, in another video, which I will link to this video in the description and maybe with an annotation close to now, I will show you how to actually change your server, uh, your server name uh, and link your IP address that you see here with some, a name. So it could be like, like liamcraft.us or something, uh, and then people could join it. But anyways, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time on The Gaming Rehab. Have a nice day, and I'll expect more from me soon. Subscribe, subscribe if this works.